school. I urgently need an apartment like this. Just stop eating this shit, guys. I just realized that I forgot this very tiny but important disclaimer, which is that you should subscribe because it's only like not even half of you guys watching this that subscribe. So please subscribe. Uh, if not, I mean, I'm not threatening you, but you should live with the consequences. So um, do it now. No, no, that would be amazing. Doing amazing, sweetie. The tuba says it looks like a foot mat. Yeah. No, honestly, this bag looks like it's like 20 euros <laughs> so by some poor kids. That shouldn't work. I'm sorry, like, disappointing. Hey guys, so now we are heading home again. Uh, we went to the show, we saw some people, which was super cool. Right now I'm going back home, so I have a very funny schedule and afterwards I will have to um, I will have to get ready now and uh, go to my apartment visits because I urgently need an apartment in Paris. Because right now I just have like a temporary flat. So I will have like six visits today, which is a bit insane. And it started raining, so I need to change shoes. I need to change my outfit out of fashion week back to the reality looking for a place where I can sleep without dying of cold so yeah that's us awesome. fashion week I love it It doesn't seem like 36, it no. is not huge, but it, um, but it's, yeah. and the view is nice, so I really like And let's just see what it is when you open it, so. All the time, I was not filming. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> just running around. And the okay. others? No, no, I was there, but not. Ah, okay. So it's just a little fun. tour. Yeah. So here, yeah. Okay. So, make a Okay. 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 Good morning, uh, Erta and I are on our way, I just made some Turkish tea, we're gonna drink some Turkish tea in the morning as a prep for a pretty long day I would say. And we, but I have actually everything at home except for bread. Oh it's surprisingly not that cold right? No it's, it's in the very, okay. In the apartment it was super cold. So now we need to check where we can get bread because I live here on uh, a huge boulevard and I'm not well aware where I can get actually bread here. Oh my god, I look horrible guys. Don't look into my face. Which is like the whole screen right now, I know, but it's horrible. So yeah, let's get some bread, right? I need some Turkish breakfast. Yes. Today is Turkish breakfast day. Proper food. Proper food.
so guys super funny story this is actual of course what i am not going to tell the brand i mean code and he's steaming it as he's steaming everything he owns and he recently found this coin it's like in the inside not just in the pocket but like in the inside of the coat that balenciaga puts inside to keep the coat heavy isn't this sick this is so cool and elisa just told me apparently chanel is also doing that with the chains at the jackets to keep them stiff and i love it that's why we love fashion because of this hello 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 um i just realized i'm wearing the exact same thing i just wore six months ago apparently and i haven't worn this coat ever since so this is apparently a fashion week outfit now now i'm here with my best buddy mr Erto de Mirel, la, 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 la. and we're heading to the balenciaga couture showroom to have a look and i'm so curious how the looks and the pieces look like the fabrics are how they uh, were made and to have a close look at these so we will have a look at this and then there are like a few other presentations it will be a fun and full uh day but it will be cool i guess we just had our church breakfast so we're stronger than ever and now heading there <laughs> yes oh. can you show how you sh change it it stays like that <laughs> yeah you you have a little bit Because I have to say, I mean, of course, this is couture, so it's not. But um, it's so hard to find a good one. <laughs> I'm here to volunteer. Still, still waiting. <laughs> so we just got out of the store. Also, I think I ever saw my video made. Uh, tried on a few pieces and I, uh, it's very cool because you get a tour actually through the collection and they explain you um, every important criteria about every single piece and I have to say I wasn't expecting too much because the collection still was a bit subtle for me personally but as we were looking like in the inlays the, uh, how it was made how it was uh, what fabrics they were it was a lot of sustainable stuff so actually I think it's pretty cool to have a couture collection that consists of sustainable materials vintage materials uh, especially the jeans fabrics and I like the technical approach on them as well like the shirts that are made of wool and contain also like aluminium that makes them stiff and at the same time flexible because you can turn them in every shape you want which kind of reminded me of the white project collection as well but this was of course a way more professional I will not talk about the price tags because um, yeah, some were mentioned and it's, it's, yeah, it's of course couture. Uh, and now we're going to the presentation of uh, Rui, which is a super interesting, I wouldn't even call it emerging brand anymore, but uh, they have a very cool presentation. So we're heading there. So now 
we just had dinner. I think I got kind of hungry because I just realized right after having eaten something that um, my mood kind of switched. So um, we were at the Rio presentation, which was super interesting. And I have some other human beings next to me who are also having fun. No, but um, I have to need to get home ASAP. Oh my God. Uh, because he needs to get ready for Heliot Emil, the show. I will stay home and have a very important uh, task, which is waiting for the delivery man who will bring Arthur a little present from Balenciaga. And um, Elisa, I think was, there was also something, I don't know. I'm not getting any presents. I have to give my shit away, that's the <laughs> Okay, it's the complete opposite. She needs to give stuff back she received. Uh, oh, that's also like from a niche and very cool designer, but he needs his stuff because he only has like samples and he needs to go to a very important fashion shooting. And right now I think like Kylie Jenner and stuff are um, wearing the stuff. But it's cool, so she wore the things Kylie is gonna wear next week. So that's how up to date we are. Uh, it's the morning of the mornings. It's Balenciaga day and I'm here with some Balenciaga kids. Uh, it's gone pretty fresh. Uh, not me though. Uh, we're waiting for the Uber. It's like an almost one hour drive to the place. I don't know what's wrong with Debna, but he obviously loves uh, places that are pretty far away. Um, I got the chance to get dressed by my sweetest actor. I think I only own the shoes. It's his bag. Um, jacket someone else's. Uh, glasses his. Oh, cap's also mine. Um, it's cool, I dress pretty warm because I know I will stand outside. I'm really curious, it's called The Mud Show. I think it will be something maybe similar to the last show that was like a snowstorm. So we are really curious. And these... Yeah, I have to retire. This is just sick. Like these kids are sick and... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> oh no, they're shy kids. Okay, so um, I just had one coffee. I'm sorry to support. Uh, Starbucks and I'm still waiting for the Uber. The kids got kind of aggressive because the Uber was first of all a Mercedes, got declined and now we're driving with a Peugeot and um, they're not happy about this. They're not. Yes, let's go. To add the gossip of the day, nobody knows how you get invited to a Balenciaga show because it is chosen very randomly and people have a lot of power in fashion and usually get like invited like to every show it's just normal for them to get an invite don't get a Balenciaga one you remember maybe the Brenda hashtag incident like there is some gossip going around and people are pissed but I think on the other hand again I love the move of Demna just the, yeah it's the trash car here yeah. I just do, uh, love the move of Demna uh, for example like to invite people who are extremely bonded to the brand so nice. So now we Actually, what time is it? Almost 6 or 7 um, p.m. Uh, we came back home from Balenciaga and I was super tired because I was waiting for the guys. And the show was, I think, insane. Well, they said it was insane. They got to got in touch with uh, Demna, which is super cool. I think I just love this guy every time more and more because um, he keeps doing very cool things such as getting in touch with people and they said like, um, all, like friends of Balenciaga invited backstage, which is I think also cool. You know, it's not the customers, it's not the buyers, it's not the press, it's the friends. So I think that's also like kind of demo democratizing the fashion. And now we went to an insanely place. It's an uh, Israeli. Um, actually, it's not pasta, but it's like they have pita and it smells so good. And now we're here with Arto and. Fabio, aka Bobby Drugs. Ah, okay. So yeah, now we will have a snack and afterwards there is the Balenciaga after party. Let's see what happens there. I don't know if I'm allowed to film, but I will film as much as I can without getting thrown out.
shadows so um yeah i just came from work as these people are jobless so uh, i came on <laughs> no i'm just kidding but now we want to get some food because i didn't have dinner and nobody else also and elisa is usually not eating anything so i forced everyone to get out it's 11 pm and we're going to a I don't know if it's a popular place, but a French place that somebody recommended me. Um, so let's check it out. What? So guys, it's I think 10, 10 uh, p.m. My brain is actually not working because I haven't slept for days. The main reason are these two people accompanying me. No, well, it's just been uh, it's such a tough week. Not only uh, work, but also um, like fashion week and other things in my life. And it's so exhausting. I'm almost falling asleep but we're um, having our last supper kind of thing, like dinner. And we're going to Lulu. This is the game. You see, see what my gang is like. It's cool now. So now we're going, let's see. I'm a Kim ad. So it's around 12 p.m. right now. I'm with my goth crew. <laughs> yeah. Um, the food was really good. You know this will be on my vlog, right? And you will hate me for it. I will put it in. Um, it was pretty cool. We're waiting for the Uber now. Actually, I just live a 15-minute walk from here, but. I don't want to walk so we're waiting uh, no it was nice this was our last evening together everybody's heading home uh, back to business everyone let's go home these guys need to pack and they came for well they came and they kind of didn't leave so uh, they but they came like with two suitcases it's fashion week Yes, another day that I ended up with this and actually I really need to start um, I need to stop eating this shit guys. It's, it's, it's 
not good. Every day when I come home, I find my flat like this. So the lights are turned on because I'm scared to get robbed and I'm a bit paranoid. So I'm gonna just check if someone's here. I know it's very bad for climate and everything, but guys, everybody is getting here like robbed every six months. Usually nothing happens, so uh, they're usually just taking everything crashes. It, I mean, that means for me, nothing happens if they don't hurt you or anything, but yes, it's a bit, a bit scary. I know people who um, went out of their flats and moved in with a friend because they were scared. First life, beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna eat, uh, it's, this is the epitome of my life. I got like one piece of cake for 10 euros here. And then I have a cheeseburger here. This is my life. So I just came from the office. Uh, well, I chilled a bit on the couch. It's I think like 9 uh, p.m. or something. Um, I danced a little bit to MGMT music. Uh, one of my favorite kind and since all my Spotify lists were deleted I chose this one and I brought with me my package a funny thing I bought even my office is not safe from my deliveries I got something from Vestia Collective uh, thank you to the Italian lady that sold these shoes for that price never ever worn before I have no idea when I will wear these, but these are at least a bit more wearable than the usual stuff that I order. And let's have a look. Okay, it's hard to do while looking through the camera. Yes, in exactly these ones. And I think they are very office appropriate. No, but I need something. I think she, I don't know if this Vibram sole is already on from Balenciaga. But it's definitely real. Like I made the authenticity check, so these are definitely real Balenciagas. And I think I got them like for two hundred euros, which is really nothing. And I think they are very easily stylable with everything. And I cannot wear to wear them with my socks on because they're also kind of winter appropriate. Like until the, as long as it doesn't rain. And I have my laptop with me because I still need to finish some stuff. So I'm gonna eat something now because I definitely need some food. And then, uh, uh, yeah. I'm eating my six euro piece of cake now. This is lemon. Yes, don't look at my fingers because I just finished the same size, the chocolate cake. And this is my dinner. And now I'm eating the um, citron one because I'm too lazy to cook for dinner. Mm, it's fine for me, I have a sweet tooth. It's amazing, it's amazing. I literally just filmed a second disclaimer right now. I'm speaking from the future, the future me who has been watching The Watcher and is fairly disappointed, guys. And don't forget to subscribe here, somewhere. Click on my name. Now, don't make me end up like Carrie having to sell her shoes because right now people, guys, friends, I own a mattress, not a bed frame, just a mattress. Subscribe.